thousands and recessions. Since 1960, every recession has been accompanied by a year-over-year -year decline in residential construction. And residential construction is not just uh, new home construction, but also uh, existing home repairs, etc. And as Beth Ann mentioned, uh, just right now we're looking at sales that are down 19% from peak to trough. That starts are off 40% from their peak, and we anticipate that home sales across the U.S. are likely to be down 11%, and we are less than halfway there there already. So certainly there is a concern. Uh, there is a benefit, however, and that is, what is it, uh, all trout are fish, but not all fish are trout. So the reversal of this A proposition is that while all recessions have been accompanied by a decline in residential construction, not all declines in construction have led to recessions. I've circled two periods in which uh, we did not have recessions. Certainly two out of uh, seven is not, uh, or out of nine is not a, a number that you can feel all that comfortable about. Uh, but back in the late 1960s, we had a very proactive Fed that decided to cut interest rates fairly quickly. Uh, also, we were uh, engaged in an increasingly expensive uh, war, so military spending helped uh, reduce the prospects of recession. We did go through a soft landing, uh, seeing GDP growth on a year-over-year -year basis uh, above 1.5%, but certainly not seeing the, uh, the old rule of thumb of two uh, qu quarters of GDP decline or more. In the early 1990s, Certainly, we did have a decline in residential construction, but we ended up with uh, a positive economy overall, again, because of a proactive Fed, as well as low oil prices and the benefits of a peace dividend. So now the question is, well, well what's likely to happen? Uh, the red line indicates that we think that we're going to see more than a 20% year-over-year decline in residential construction when all is said and done by the summer of next year. Then, because of a proactive Fed, we're expecting to see a bit of a turnaround and have that occur relatively quickly. So the red line is the projected number coming from S&P Economics and Global Insight.